Hey everybody, what is happening? Ish Daily Ish, and today I'm going to bring you a little bit of Madden 15 Ultimate Team gameplay. I uh, see we got some new players, we got the new Poe, we've got the 99 Willis, I, I did sell back to Ronnie Lott, we're going to use the CJ Mosley rookie along with the Kelvin Mack all rookie. Um, I just figured I used that Taylor Mays, uh, you know, that free safety. I used that spot a lot, so I really wasn't going to get the benefit out of that. And even though the lot price uh, tanked out, I was still able to basically go and... Um, by the Willis for not much more so it worked out first play right there boom oh man we're gonna go and lay the wood there with the Atwater he runs where's that that nice little uh, shake there on the tight end so now I got I, you know I have to watch out for that later that was kind of a cool route I hadn't seen that one uh, too much against myself at least when I played so but uh, luckily we get the big turnover and early on we got a couple good runs uh, you know Upshaw making the push there um, you know, this point of the year, I'm not looking to get too many more players, but um, right here, my left tackle, Peters, just gives that up. He has not been doing work lately. Uh, I'm probably going to need to save for that Joe Thomas, really, to, just to uh, get that outside. You've got to have contain on the outside. I've noticed throughout this game and some others, that, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, he's just getting beat too often now, even though he's a great run blocker. It's just how it goes. And third and one, I get, I get stuff short. And I, for some reason, I felt like I needed the points. So, you know, I go, here we go, and we get right behind the user. I could have went either read on that, you know, from the, uh, you know, the, you, know, you know the plays by now. You've seen the book. Uh, and here we go. Look at this. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. The cornerback comes up, and uh, Murray gets shot down. So we got to walk in with, uh, with Brady there. I, was, I, was, I kind of laughed when I'd seen that one. And unfortunately, this game, I make some mental errors, I'll tell you there. Um, you know, luckily... You know, I don't know if it's too bad, but it's just kind of being the wrong, wrong uh, you know, reads and stuff at times for, and um, misusing timeouts, as you'll see, stuff like that later on. And, he, you know, he's got a nice wide scheme. Um, he's, no matter where, I, you know, I'm switching man. He's good at reading the coverage, I'll say this. I switched to man to my, you know, cover threes. I'm taking blues, putting them in purples throughout here. And he, you know, and on that one, I, got, I you know, I cover up. I'm looking for that shake, and then he runs it there. So I had that one covered up. But he does a really good job of making the right reads and making the checkdowns. And right there, first mental error, I overrun. I, I read that perfectly fine. I overran it with, um, you know, with, with uh, my maze there. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, you know, sometimes that speed, while it's great, sometimes when I'm doing user and stuff, it, I do overrun because of that, you know. And again, we're in a good spot. And I actually threw... Um, Bruce Smith out there to cover, and he breaks that up. You know, I, because I noticed with him, he's he's got a very high rating as a linebacker. So I figured once in a great while I can and do that. And it's just because he's kind of picking me apart, you know, as you see. So again, throughout the game, I'm just messing with different things, trying to figure out what I can do to stop this. And right there, Mays jumps it and just it would, he wouldn't have had the pick, but he would have knocked it down. So that that was tough. And you know, and now he runs, which I hadn't seen much of that yet. And, you know, I stuffed that one pretty well. And this one, I remember, I didn't get my play call in time, so the computer picked my formation. I don't mind running man, but I needed a, a free guy in the middle, and I was cycling through my players, and I didn't get it off. So another mental error there, but a good play by him. Who knows if I would have stopped him anyhow. Uh, and here we go. This was a good, you know, I don't mind the play call there, but sometimes on that deep route that he runs it too late, and the blocking didn't hold up. So I just go for, a you know, a little screen pass. I, and one guy to beat. If I would have had hit, you know, if, if I would have beat him, I was gone for a long one. But I've made so many interceptions, you know, throwing on my end at third and twenty and stuff. I just didn't want to make a pick there, so I played it safe. Uh, but this guy's got now time to go up, so we're gonna give him a shot to take the lead. And again, I, you know, even when I got the right man on that, I just seemed to be missing the play, just missing it. And you know, check down again. You know, I I'm pretty good spot there. I was just a little slow to get to it. Fourth and two. Normally, you know, I normally run this and it leaves that gap there, but normally my guy fills it and instead his wide receiver busts around like he's got 105 speed and blocks my guy from shooting that hole. So, yeah, that's going to happen there. But And by all means, the guy doesn't really have stud players in here. You know, he's he's playing, not you know, kind of a budget. He's got like the Moncrief. You know, Breeze is good. So he's got, you know, he's got his QB being a Saints fan, but... For the most part, this is he's just got a good scheme and good spin there, and you know he's got Sproles. Um, I didn't check, but I'm gonna guess the higher end because it's not that cheap. But you know he, he you know he made a couple good moves on me this game there. But um, you see, I'm running all sorts of different things here, just trying to figure this one out, figure out you know what's the best one because 
when you run against guys who got a passing scheme down, it doesn't matter. You're a man. You're in zone. They know how to do it. So you have to find ways to show them different looks within it. And right there, this that's a very glitchy route he runs on me and it gets it gets the touchdown. And right here, I throw an inside pass lead bullet, and for some reason, it goes outside, and I and and I throw a pick to start off the the second half. I was pissed at this. I was upset. I mean, I, I, I that's a perfect play setup. I had the seam, I had the inside seam, and the ball just goes to the total opposite way, you know side. I throw it on, but yeah, that's gonna happen. You know, those those are the breaks. Uh, but I tell you what, I stayed in my pass coverage. It's one of those times where I was just kind of pissed and <laughs> just kind of yelling and stuff and at this I kind of was just like whatever you know I figured he's gonna score whatever you know I'm in I'm in that mode right now I just remember that being so um one of those things sometimes when you you know you let the game get to you you kind of get flustered and you know you, you don't do what you're supposed to do but I get the ball back and and we're gonna make a big play here with Jamal so okay we get we get a little momentum back here uh you know a bit nice to go for the touch on that one but you know again uh, when you got pursuit the way it is in this game they're gonna chase them down on a play they shouldn't have and there we go. This time we're going to go with the deeper, the deeper version of that, as you've seen. And you know, I was just thinking, well, I'm surprised you know he didn't jump that one too, the way that he, you know he jumped that uh, other pass in there. So again, we're going to go with a delayed one on. I'm going to see if I can get the user to to clear the area, which he does for me very well. And I get down, and this time he knows I ran that Q, QB sneak before, so he actually lets me get that that range. I'm sorry, I'm gonna play ahead. Here's another mistake. I hit the button on accident, which causes me to do the spike. Well, third and inches, I can't afford to be doing that. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to waste it down. So, burn time out again there. Um, just just kind of besides myself when you make stupid errors like that, especially in a game where I need the points. So, we go and we're down by a touchdown, and, and he comes back out in the run. And then I, this is when I realized, crap, I, I actually have to start playing the run. <laughs> so, you know, because he passes so well on me, I just didn't want to get out of that in my coverage. Just trying to figure that out. Um, you know, and he barely, barely getting in there. Um, so we've, we've got to do something. We've got to make a stop, obviously, down by seven here. And, and I'm using the spots in between because I know he likes to check down now. So I try to get between the two routes. And he holds the ball, takes a sack. So um, good there. I mean, obviously, I'd rather have a pick on it. But, you know, we'll, we'll take that, too. Puts him in a bad spot. And Tlaib jumps it. Oh, my goodness. Into P. Willie, 99 hands. He actually makes the catch on that. Whoa. Whoa, check that. Check that one again. Boom. Into his hands. Oh, that's that's some clutch stuff. Um, you know, right there. Made it well worth it. And you see at that time he had five tackles. So pretty good. And again, I run the counter. I had a perfect setup for that. But Peters can't block anymore. Like I said, he just totally lets the guy in. I would have had a nice gain had he just made his simple little block for, for a second and a half. I forced this. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, he gets a uh, roughness, and yeah, I'm taking that roughness right now. I need all I can get. I I ain't gonna lie, I took that. You know, I it gave me an extra like five or six yards, whatever. You know, so be it. And then uh, we got Jamal. Okay, slips it. There we go, Jamal. So he's stepping up there in the back. You know, as long as he's got someone to make one block for him, I, I did pretty well there. So we've tied it up. But again, he's got plenty of time. I'm not, haven't been great stopping him, and I missed it. I don't know why they used it. The uh, it didn't activate. I actually thought I was in a really great spot. I'm holding why, and I don't get the animation. I really, you know, again, I should have had a pick there, but you know, that's that's the break sometimes. Um, you know, I couldn't, didn't have time to be mad about that one. I have got to find a way to stop this. And you know what? Now he's nickel and diamond me. Um, again, the check down stuff is there. But I, I felt like I didn't want to risk a cover two zone because the guy has enough routes out there. He would burn me. So I just didn't want to do that. So I'm just trying to find different ways. And here we go, second, second and six now. We've got it. We cannot give that like 10, 15 more yards and we're done. And, and great man right there by Rod on the slot. Um, so for some reason at this point, I'm thinking he's, he's going to roll check downs on me. I'm, I do something that I've pretty much haven't done all year. I bring Maze out there and I get on Poe. This is the new Poe. He ain't like Wilfrick. This guy can actually move a little bit. So, but I'm th sitting there thinking, I don't want this check down. So I go, boom, I bait it. Perfect. He's got 37 catching. You know, I can't be mad about that, but dude, I mean, that I read that perfect. Um, and I decide, you know what? I'm just going to try it again because it worked. I figured, why not? Let's at least hold that zone. I go. I stop in the middle, and the animation actually hooks his receiver, which by all means is pass interference in any other world we live in, but not Madden world. So he gives me the ball back, and right away we are breaking one. We, we pretty much have almost got the touch, and I decide 
and I don't even know if that was the right decision. I go down. I did, I would have got closer, but I wanted to give myself room for a, a time, you know, a first down if I can. I want to play for the first, not the touch. So he run commits off the bat, and now we got another timeout done. So you know, I'm sitting there thinking, I don't like Jamal running that stuff. Uh, I don't want to run into that again. And now we do a swing out here, try and get a few more yards on it, a little spin action. Okay, so now we got third and six. And at this point, I start doubting the play that I had, and I start thinking I really didn't like it. And like, you know, just just very foolish. And now I don't have any timeouts. The dumbest thing I could have probably done right there. So if I don't get a first here, it's ridiculous. And I do, though. So that's the play. I just decided that play would work, and I wanted to go to it. But... Again, I don't have timeout, so I end up in this bad situation here and take a knee. Now, by all means, th that's not a big deal at this point. But like an idiot, I call play right now. And I should I should have let the clock run down before I take the knee. I didn't even think about that. He comes up and he gets a pass. And, you know, you know, he, he basically goes and he gets the clock to stop because of doing that. And I had made so many errors at that point. I'm like, dude, I'm just going to kick a field goal. I didn't want to try to even kneel it again or, or risk it because I'm like, at this point, I'm just screwing this game up so badly. I just figured, just do that. So I'm just going to play coverage, deep coverage. And there's Poe. Oh, with the sack and the fumble. Now we got it. And hey, a Bruce Smith side, you know, again. So we've got this locked down now. Um, that Poe has been great at, you know, the few games I've had him. And there again, one more play, and Poe just goes down and just kills him. Um, you know, I love that Wilford for so long, but I don't miss him. I don't miss him now. But So you can see the stats we got here. Um, you know, it was, it was good. I, I probably made the game closer than it needed to be. At least I came back from that, you know, didn't quit on it. Um, you see Charles with the 8 for 95. Good job running here. I did not have a great passing game for the most part. Made plays when I needed to, except for that silly pick. Um, you know, and you know, they got a couple, couple decent block in there, but, um, P Willie showing up, man, 99 Willis, uh, six tackles there that, that, you know, basically the game changing interception that he made and Mack at, at five. So we'll see y'all next time.